Okay, so one of the common comments that I keep getting is, you know, well, you shouldn't have expected other people to support your kids. You shouldn't have, uh, you know, relied on social media. Here's the thing. Everyone who has a job relies on their job. Um, if they have a group of people go to their boss and, like, lie to get them fired, it's not their fault they lost the job. Again, I didn't lose my TikTok because I did something wrong. I lost my TikTok because a group of haters decided that they didn't like me and didn't want to see me on social media. But like, oh my god, here's the thing. You could just not watch my shit. Like, I know that's like such a like mind-blowing thing. But like, you could just like not come to my channel. Maybe even block me so I'm not on your For You page. You could just leave me the fuck alone and let me live my life. And then I could make the money that I need to support my family without any kind of help. So it's not that you're giving me money. It's that you're leaving me the fuck alone and not making me lose my money. Do you see what I mean? So like, again, if you walk into a business and say hey that guy over there attacked me and the boss goes oh my god and fires him if you lied to get that guy fired you can't turn around and be like well you shouldn't have depended on this job it's not his fucking fault that you're a psycho and you went and lied to get him fired so back to the social media thing people are like well what were you going to do without social media i don't fucking know i was gonna die okay i was going to die i was dying I didn't know what I was going to do because before I got so sick that I thought I was going to die, I fucking was in college. Like I was trying, but oh, I have happy news to share. And this is important because I didn't know about it. So if you went to an online for-profit uh, college that screwed you over, made false promises, and then shut down you're eligible for student loan forgiveness. And I'm so fucking happy because my entire debt is student loans from my college screwing me over and then fucking closing. And so I am going to fill out that form today. Like that's on my to-do list because I just found out about it and I didn't know it was a thing. And I, because I didn't know it was a thing, maybe you didn't know it was a thing. So I'm sharing that information with you. So now you know. Um, so I'm excited about that. So back to what I was saying. So I thought I was going to get a really good paying job. I was going to get this degree and the school screwed me over. Uh, before that, I was working a long, like 11 hours a day. And in my head, I was doing everything I could. I was working 11 hours a day and yeah, we needed assistance, but Hey, what could I do? My job didn't pay enough. Um, and so it was like, I was poor, but I was comfortably poor. Like I had no issue with getting those food stamps no issue getting heap it doesn't bother me at all um then you know everything happened with me getting sick and then i was okay and then i was sick again and then i was okay and then i was sick again like it was on and off near death situations with my body and it sucks because it's not like i did something to cause it like it's not like i was an alcoholic or a drug user or something like that my body just doesn't function correctly like the reason I got the kidney stones is because my body can't process meat. So if I eat too much meat, it turns to stone. So I have to eat a very, very, very little or none. Uh, but if I eat too much, I get a sour stomach. And this has been my whole life. I was born this way. Uh, so again, I didn't even cause it. I didn't cause my health issues. So, I mean, I guess you could say I ate meat, but everybody does. Like, how was I supposed to know that that was a thing? So anyways, I'm just saying, when I started my family, by the time I already had a big family, I had no issue being poor, and I had dreams of having a better job and a better life. Oh, hold on a second, I'm making a video. Just one second. Oh, I see. Just one second. Okay, so the point is, I didn't care if I was on assistance, it didn't bother me. Uh, once I got sick and I joined TikTok, uh, I, when I first joined, I was just bored and I was just doing it to pass the time. And then the kids and I had a contest who can get to a thousand followers first. So I won. It was 10,000 followers. If it was a thousand followers, I got 5,000 in that day. You did? Yeah. It was 10,000 followers? Yeah, because if it was a thousand followers, again, I got six to 5,000 in that day. Oh, I didn't realize that. You don't have that account anymore, do you? I probably still have that account. That's not my main one. 
Oh, okay, my bad. So it was hooking you to 10,000 first. But back then, I didn't even know that you could get monetized. Once I found out you could get monetized, I was way more hyped for it because obviously a way to provide for my kids, you know, at home, that is amazing, especially for somebody who keeps getting sick. Um, so when I started making money, it wasn't a lot, but it was okay because at the time we were getting like the stimulus and stuff. So it was like just enough. And then my son got sick and I wasn't expecting my son to get cancer. So I didn't really know what to do anymore because I had started making daily vlogs and I was like, I guess I'll just continue what I'm doing. And I was showing Donnie and stuff, but then I started feeling really bad. Like, I don't really want to show this every day. And I cut back on how often I was showing him sick in the hospital. So then, um, we were also getting donations, by the way, we got about $11,000 in donations, which probably sounds like a lot, but that was groceries. <laughs> like, yeah, even with food assistance, we still pay over $1,000 every month for groceries. So it helped, don't get me wrong, but it's not like we got rich off of it or something. Um, so then TikTok changed how they pay their uh, people and I started making a very nice amount of money. And I know people are like, oh, but you're exploiting the kids. You're exploiting them. You're showing them all the time. I really wasn't. I probably would record Adam once a month and then just reuse that same footage for every video that I made with Adam. Same with like Modi. I would record Modi like once a month. It's not like I had my camera in the kids' faces 24 seven from the moment they wake up till they go to sleep, telling all their business. Like you don't even know half of the time when my kids went to the doctors or went to the dentist they're just like oh you never take your kids to the doctor you never take your kids to the dentist it's like okay or i just didn't show you that i, I know is that crazy i don't show you fucking everything i show what i feel like showing on any given day so anyway the point that i'm trying to make is i started making a decent amount of money and i had hope for the future and I'm like you know if I keep this up I will be making so much money I can get everything in the house fixed I can make sure the kids always have nice things I can start a savings and if I get sick again and if I don't survive next time at least I know the kids have a nice house and a savings that I put away for them and so I had all these big dreams you know and I was gonna leave so much for the kids and then a group of haters decided that they didn't like me because I happen to have kids and I showed them sometimes so they just like lumped me in with the mommy vloggers, the same people who show their kids in the bathtub. And I don't do that. That's not me. So because they decided that I'm attracting predators, which I'm not, 90% of our followers are women, like between the ages of 18 and 40, almost no men whatsoever. And the men who are following are either just cool dudes, maybe dudes that like me or the haters themselves. I really don't attract guys on here. Anyways... <laughs> <laughs> which is you know whatever you. and my kid yeah it's so my kids there's almost no guys whatsoever so like i said social media yeah okay you know you can't always rely on it blah 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 but i could it's still there social media is still there i could have relied on it right now today if you didn't take it away from me with your lies and i question come here let me see this I just looked that up. I just looked up your TikTok. Are they? That doesn't make sense. That, that, Are they giving it back? I just looked up your. I was asking you why you only had two videos on it. I don't know what the heck this is. I don't know what's going on with this. Why is it showing this? I don't know. But I gotta go.